So I'm interviewing this guy to uh train. Uh, he trained supposedly trained uh, like Bruce Lee for seven days. Let's check it out. Uh, you know, I have like magazines of uh, but real quick, let me go through of uh, Bruce Lee's uh, routine. Uh, his, uh, that was produced by his, his daughter Shannon Lee, and man, some of the stuff he does is brutal and um, uh, some uh, it's um ever says in the in in the magazine that some of the things he does in the is uh, a t uh you like like uh you might have uh three sets of ten or whatever on there but some of it is you, you go into you can't do no more basically his his training is brutal <laughs> and uh yeah, you're not good with this guy training, training supposedly is training like Bruce, and then we got to go to, the, to this. Bruce Lee is the world's most famous martial artist. He's known for his incredible. That was a cool little scene of uh, Game of Death with the his not favorite famous not uh, a scene uh, when he fights Dan and Santo. This is another great scene where he's fighting. All the Japanese guys, uh, and uh, Chinese nation, aka Fist of Fury. Well, strength and speed. When Bruce That's Lee filmed the movies, many direct one inch punch, and there's the uh, Into the Dragon behind the scenes of Into the Dragon. Actors actually complained that his punches were too fast for the camera to capture. I will be following Bruce Lee's original workout to train the skills he's famous for. Two finger push-ups and the one inch punch. First, we're going to start off by testing our one inch punch. Level one. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at his... his, his, his the, the, he's not... He, he doesn't have the mechanics right. Uh, it is a vertical punch. But what you want to do, and is if you're just using this here, is the the pushing, and you are measuring the rent, the inch, but with the knuckle. So you, boom. As you got that here, you are in, in there. And so he's 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 a uh, hand looks to be. Uh, uh, and I'll tell you why he won't. If, if he breaks it, I tell you why. If he doesn't. Yeah. Woo! I broke level one, which is the thinnest. So yeah, that's easy. You could break uh, uh, the tape button boards with this motion here. Uh, so in fact, it's the beginning. So you, have, you, know, if you don't want really to have the concept of the one-inch punch and how, and how it's actually channeled, channel, then you won't. Then you have to have, you're gonna have a hard time. Bringing boards, uh, general, with that punch. This board, each level has an increasing thickness. Level two. And again, his stance, everything tells me that he's not, he doesn't really know how to, uh, get the stance, um, and proper stance for the, the technique that worked in here. And that's why he didn't break the board. And none of that, he hasn't trained this tiny often. Um, to to uh, really generate power from this, you, you can't. You don't have if you you can't just have this motion here, and it's not gonna do it any, any good. But you, if you have the uh, just that. All right, so uh, practice, practice, and practice uh, the, the 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 punch, uh, and it's all help. Maybe dropping the weight, same concept when you throw a jab or any other punch. You when you throw the help and drop the you drop the weight with it all at once. <laughs> Try level three. Yeah, yeah. This, uh, obviously, the level three is not gonna work on because 
fact, he kind of broke the number two board, and this is the thickest board he has. And he, just because of the fact he doesn't have a, this, the proper stance, for one, I, I can't even say his feet, but you can't, he doesn't have the a <laughs> good stance on it. Before I hurt myself, I'm done. <laughs> Little did I know there's a lot more pain to come. Now we're gonna test our two finger push ups. It might look like I'm doing nothing. So that, that is hard to do. Um, that is a hard thing to do. I've done it uh, in the past. Uh, the two finger, finger, finger push ups. Um, ever being a finger as I was, uh, I was able to do it. Uh, the best thing is, is to start with the finger push ups. Like this, and you want to have a really good. Uh, your your body has to be straight, and uh, like 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 a so uh like like you would do with, but but you really have to be able to uh have the upper body strength to do it. So do more push-ups, um, regular push-ups that uh, that you have um. The, the way you can build the build your chest, the, your chest push your, the, the strength of your chest uh, as well. So you gotta keep in mind when you put through a push up, you wanna have the same way like as uh, the same concept if you are laying back, um, through a weights like this, right? You, if you go in, in you lay on the bench. You love the weights, and you bend in your bench pressing. You have the same motion. So even if in your push ups, you want to have the same. You want to feel that chest compression, um, and his form looks fine. As is the reason why he can't do it. Is this if this is your first time trying to do push up like this at all? You're not gonna be able to do it because it simple the fact you have it uh strengthened your fingers nothing but i'm trying my hardest i also tried with five fingers <laughs> this is not happening today but after we go through bruce lee's training routine first we'll thing you know, first you gotta make sure you can actually do a proper push-up um before you can actually uh manage now he's supposed to form is not uh, bad uh, the simple fact is that if let's say uh, he if you can't pull push you up th yourself up this way right you don't gotta do any other push you can't uh, so the best way the next push up once you get able to do a fly, a fly, fly handed it goes to knuckles and the reason, then you have the knuckle push ups and you can go up to the finger push ups and then you see in the first when you start finger to finger the uh, thing finger when you five fingers finger push ups you try to do see if you do five then go up and up and up as you go well test again on day seven now it's finally time for me to use my one incher i've been waiting a long time for this each time we train this we're going to use progressively harder material so today we're going to start off with foam the one inch thrust. Uh, uh, look at the, uh, his stance. Bad, uh, bad stance, bad form here. Uh, for the one inch punch. Uh, I don't know his exactly um, background is on the. Uh, uh, his background is in martial arts, but his form is. His legs, if you see what his, his legs is, are too narrow, too narrow, uh, for this, for this to, to work, one. Um, his hand is too low. So it's, so let's go back a little bit right here. I mean, you could do any... And any of the hands progressively harder material. So today we're so gonna start off with foam. The one inch thrust. That's not in one inch. He's going too far out with his hand, 
and they come out more like this. That's just knuckle. Okay. That's one. That's another mistake. That's about three inches. Uh, between about three inches at least, maybe six. Uh, you have to depending on how long your fingers are. Some people's hands are longer than uh, the others. So when you go in, it's um not gonna be uh it's gonna be like a actual punch. So um that's another that's, a, that's another thing that he has from his his his. his, his He's a little, he, his lead leg, leg, uh, here, it looks like he's doing his, using his, um, yeah, his rear hand for this. So he's going in for the rear. So his, his rear leg should be pivoting instead of this. Um, because in Jackie D, and this is, I'm going to stand up for a minute, just kind of show you. Uh, in here, hand. I, I just if you, I don't know if you can see my, my hands. But the hands are here. So if, if I'm turning here, my hands is just nest to my elbow. That my elbow's here and slide up hands. And then I, I'm gonna pivot. Now at the same time, when I if I'm doing this motion, I'm gonna. Imagine this as I'm hitting something, and when I'm doing it, the lead leg should be here. I should be here, I should be bladed, then I should be able to go here. My as my, my body drop as the lead leg, go here. this here is. A a a a uh and you know I know you can't see my legs how it is but you know how to throw a proper punch a proper uh punch from if you, especially if you don't run Wing Chun right especially if you don't Wing Chun you know this is the punch that you see in Jit Kune Do and Wing Chun. This, also, uh, unless this is now the one inch punch can be done as as done in Wing Chun, but Bruce Lee's one inch punch is a lot different. Bust. Whoo! And see, so, yeah, okay, so hey, see how he's dressed, dressing it. He he is pivoting, and he's rotating his head headband. Uh, but that's not how Bruce Lee did it. Ooh, ah! <laughs> Do the moans come instinctively or is that part of the training? It's channeling the chi. 100 reps. Whew. 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 The main difference between the one inch punch and the iron fist I trained in this video is the travel distance between my fist and the target. So it's more difficult to punch hard. Want to switch to a tech career or get promoted in your current tech role? Practicum is here for you. Despite these restrictions, oh. with a single one-inch punch, Bruce Lee can knock over opponents who outweigh them by even a hundred pounds. But for me, my goal is to break the level three board by the end of the week. My next exercise is a hundred knee finger push-ups. We'll get progressively better each day. The hardest part about the finger push-up is the fact. So yes, that is a good way to, to strengthen your finger up uh, if you cannot do a push-up like this. Uh, now I my I have done uh, one-handed uh, finger five finger push-up with one hand. Uh, when I did it on with this hand, this finger, this thumb here claps and it has been the same since. <laughs> The fact that your entire body weight is resting on these tiny joints on your fingers. It's hard to balance and extremely painful. <sighs> Come on! Yeah. It's very, very hard. Oh! 
one's definitely lacking at the end here. In addition to martial arts training, Bruce Lee also did bodybuilding exercises three times per week to improve his speed, strength, and of course, to develop his glorious movie star physique. All right, it's day two of training like Bruce Lee. Today, I got a real treat for you. So we have Bruce Lee's original workout plan right here that we're gonna follow. Come take a look. So Bruce Lee has two routines. One is over here and the other one is over here. Today, we're gonna do routine number one, starting with squats. Three sets, 95 pounds. 25 pounds on each side. According to an interview with Jesse Glover, one of Bruce Lee's best students, Bruce Lee wanted his weight training to complement what he did in martial arts. And if stuff got in the way, then it had to go. Bruce Lee is jacked, bro. He looks skinny as f but this is very heavy. Yeah, this, this, I'm not gonna be able to do this. 30, drop the weight by half. Trying to keep up with Bruce Lee's workout is almost as hard as trying to catch his punch. It just ain't gonna happen, bro. The next exercise is the incline curl, and I wanted to try again at Bruce Lee's weights. I'm done. You've never looked worse <laughs> doing an exercise. <laughs> so yeah, don't start off with weights that you have a you not you have a left uh, yourself. So if you if you are not naturally doing curls. On um, maybe 15, 20 pounds, and you jump to somebody else's race. So if you, let's say you have a partner, you he might be that person might be calling rates at 70 pounds and doing 10 reps. You're not gonna turn around and pick up the same weights and lift those. No, you're gonna lift the ones that you know you can lift yourself. Don't strain your body by doing something you can't lift. Uh, you can really hurt yourself. You can over, uh, you can tear your muscles. You can really uh, over uh, uh, stand your arms out. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's good to do. No, no, you have. You can have a partner. You can have a partner. That's my son. Hey, can you say hi? Don't, don't be shy. Anyways, you can have a partner when to do, do, do what I call um, cheat, uh, not cheat, but when you have uh, a deadlift, deadlift coils. And what that is is simply you you take uh, the weights that is heavier for for you to. So you people do this for squats. So people, some people would do it. Um, where you have, when you do it, uh, with, uh, bench or whatever, um, a lot, a lot of times you are, you 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 do it, so, so a deadlift is not just like, put up in, on the ground and you, you kind of shrug it up, um, you have what I call deadlift. And that is simply you have a partner and, and your partner, you you have two people on both sides, and you, the, you got the and they they help you, and they have the the hand up there, uh, guide you up to to so you can love so you become becoming stronger. Yes, baby. Okay, get some drink, baby. Get something. Go. Uh, your to help you to love those books uh, so that you can uh, then afterwards you want to another workout and that's usually the the last set you do you take the uh, that's that's a your your um, heaviest set is 50 pounds and you go up to 60 60 pounds or 55 pounds whatever right you go up there. You want you you're you're going at least five pounds or ten pounds. Something you know you, that okay. My max is fifty. I can get fifty up and call them up, and I can do that. You go to fifty-five, and then that's the rate you have struggling, and that you have those you have those people uh to to uh, help you guide you. And keep so that so that you become stronger to do so. 
um, and you you do it you do it two or three reps like that. Um, then what you and and as and as usually like I said at the end of your exercise routine that you that you did those dead 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 lifts. Um, because they, these weights are the uh, rates that felt dead. <laughs> they uh, they rates of felt dead. Like they, you can't lift them. They're, they're just that heavy, right? So um, do that uh, if uh, every other time you do arms or chest or whatever. So you, you can improve and become stronger as you do this. So once you finish the workout, eat a uh, eat or drink a protein shake after the whole after you fully done with your workout. So you replenish the protein that you use. Okay. Uh, so that that's it. that's why he can't kind of do what he wanted to do uh, in this video because he. It wasn't strong enough to uh, lift the like. Weights are insanely high, dude. It says he's 130 pounds. Oh, I'm 150. He's curling half his body weight, bro. Bruce Lee is superhuman. I'm convinced. Maybe someday I'll catch up, but for now, I'm gonna do rest of the workout at half weight. This even aligns with Bruce Lee's philosophy because he geared his routine for function rather than sheer muscle size. So his workouts include a lot of stretching and movements that improve your range of motion. What? Dumbbell circles, number infinite. This is infinite! I mean, legend says he's still doing it today. I'm just gonna assume INF means until failure, but comment below what you think it means. Yes, uh, exactly, it's, it's until failure. Uh, that's what that is exactly what that means. Um, and he always finishes his workout with the abs and the legs. So our training is all about gradual but constant growth. On day one, I couldn't even get a full five finger push up, so we're gonna try that today. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, I'm the new let's, best let's way to this. make money online that nobody's talking about is something you've never heard of before. It's using. So, exactly. Uh, every bodybuilder, like on a certain level, look at his back. They was, they was so impressed how his the the formation of his back. They call it the Christmas tree. Uh, because the way his back sh was ripped, so ripped. And that's why I'm pretty proud of my progress so far, even though I'm very far away from the two-finger push-up. Another thing Bruce Lee trained regularly is his punching speed. Sorry, I need your help. Here, grab my ball. That balls. was there, right there. That was awesome. Uh, that was <laughs> nice little... I want you to throw these balls at me randomly, and I'll try to hit them in the air. This is a modified boxing exercise that trains your reaction speed. Like, this is supposed to be a surprise or like... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never take your eyes off your opponent. Oh. oh. Also, he uses, uh, he will use a string uh, that was hanging down the, the ceiling. And the paper itself was... Uh, like head level, and he wouldn't touch it. He he would make sure that his was punch when he put throw a punch, it was be a snap. So he he'd be a, a distance player, and when he hit throw a punch, and, and if the if the snap of the punch of your punch made the paper move back. You know, uh, he knows that he's, he's, he's exactly was snapping the punch, put his punch at his time. None of that, it increases his speed. <laughs> this is pretty fun. <laughs> oh. So, 
the way he's doing that, nobody punches that way. So it's kind of, it's got to be kind of hard to do it. He's doing this and he's going down, down. He uses he's, these knuckles uh, with, uh, to hit him down. So he's slapping them down with the, knuckle, the three knuckles. Uh, which is a, which it was, which is allowing him to hit the balls. I can understand that I should try to punch these, uh, that way, but I, I, I do recommend him try to do it again to see he become more accurate, to have more accuracy. And, and not relying on speed, speed will come later as you practice this technique over and over again. Oh, oh, oh multi shot. <laughs> That's it. That's it? Yeah. I'm getting good at this. Alright, buddy guy. I'm a ninja. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Always be watching. And I finished off today's training by upgrading from foam to sandbag one inch punches. For us to get maximum benefit from Bruce Lee's training routine, we must also eat like Bruce Lee. And it's well documented that Bruce Lee mostly eats Chinese food, but once a week, he eats liver. Uh, we are at an Asian supermarket because Asian people, we eat this stuff. There's pork liver, beef liver, tasty. Yeah. All right. I do not like liver. I tried liver, it is, ugh. It's very irony tasting and it's good for you, but if you if you get stomach and, and you pass the taste or somehow make it taste pretty damn good, then I said go for it, eat it because it's it is really good for you. Dinner is served. I got my mom to cook this, so it's beef liver with bell peppers, green onions, ginger, and spices, and a lot of flavor. There's like a slight bitter aftertaste and it's extremely mushy in texture. This is actually pretty good. I give it a solid six out of 10. Despite the taste, the reason why Bruce Lee ate liver once a week is because it is considered a super food. It contains a lot of vitamins and a lot of micronutrients. Yeah. By the way, I see all these YouTubers pan frying liver. That's gonna be disgusting, bro. This is how you actually cook it the authentic Chinese way. All right, it's day four, another gym day. So today we got Bruce Lee's second workout routine. It's very similar to the first one, but the exercises are switched around a little bit. Still gonna be tiring AF. All right, we're gonna start off with some squats. The squat rack is taken. We'll use a squat machine. It's actually good because the machine will help me with my form and I can do a little bit more weight. So today we're gonna- That's actually a false thing. I see a lot of people who does uh, squat machines have terrible forms doing this because the fact that they uh, when they do uh, the, 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 the their legs are not parallel and that their back are uh, so you're not sent down you're not sending you're not squatting down like you're supposed to and you become imbalance when you if you but if you unless you only train for three rates then yeah that's not bad because you gotta have the form that you need uh but if you, if you start with that and that's all you do you're gonna have bad form and then once you gradually go to free rates it's gonna be bad on your back and your legs when you do those that form add five or ten pounds to each exercise depending on what it is my legs are still sore from last time's exercise each time i train i'm adding more weight because to bruce lee the secret of success in bodybuilding laying the word progressive and his entire workout was built on the three core tenets stretching for flexibility weight training for strength and cardiovascular activity for his respiratory system I'm ready to f crash. I just want to sleep. I'm so tired. Today we're going to be training <laughs> our finger strength. And I bought this grip trainer, but I'm only going to use it with my fingers. This is going to train my joints for the finger push ups. I'm just going to carry this everywhere I go. No, well, not only that, but thinking about those, 
those the hand drain like that, you are gonna do the same thing with the tennis ball. And what you want to do, you want to squeeze that on this, uh, like that. You could do this without it, and see how I'm, I'm doing the same concept. But what it is actually working is the forearm motion, because that's um that's what it's good for. It's good for get a good grip. You could do this with both hands, and just really uh squeeze, and you can hold it. Without that, that, I can I can do this and flex like that, and that's really good for you for you. Or just at just really make this just do that. That's a really good exercise as well for your joints. We're taking away our finger. Moving down to four finger exponentially increases the difficulty of this exercise. And in order to finish the 100 reps, I had to take a lot of breaks in between. Now, I've done push ups where I'm doing these fingers. And, that, you know, it's pretty hard. <laughs> After the finger push-ups, I continue to practice one inch punch on each fist. And after a while, I was feeling a little confident, so I wanted to try the level 3 board again. I was making him to do number 2, uh, because his, look, he still have the same stance, and it's still pretty damn bad. Funny? I called it, bro. Unwilling to give up, I just kept trying. <laughs> wow. But that's where I messed up. Bro, do you see this? That's falling. I have a f tumor. Oh my god. <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Want to switch to a tech career or get promoted in your current tech role? Practice is here for you. Highest rank. This is actually slightly concerning. <laughs> yeah, only slightly. <laughs> hey, so he's. The reason why he's not going to spawn in the way it is, is the fact he, he's, when he's doing the one is punch, it's horribly wrong. I do recommend him to check out the one and three inch power punch, uh, for this, it, it's fairly strange, a little watch YouTube videos that will help him to understand the concept of the one's punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy <laughs> The swelling from my hand has gone down significantly from yesterday because uh, I put some uh, by your guys' recommendation. It still hurts when I punch, but good thing I'm not punching today. I'm just doing workouts. And one thing I read yesterday that inspired me is Bruce Lee, when he was 28 years old, at the height of his career, he had a severe back injury during his training. Doctors were telling him, you're not going to be able to train martial arts for the rest of your life. But Bruce Lee doesn't like to hear, you can't. So yeah, what happened is, that he had his back injury was due uh, a, a workout exercise that a uh, workout exercise uh, called Good Mornings. Good Mornings is where you have a rack on your back and you lean back forward and you stretch the muscles out. And what he did it was he had 70 pounds. He was doing 10 reps to do this, and he ended up. Uh, a uh, day, uh, his last rep is strained his back and, and he blew his back out doing the exercise. And so he did the only thing that he could. For the next year, he spent in bed researching kinesiology and eventually found a way to recover. Bruce Lee proved the like doctor. A little uh, scene here. This is a dragon of the Bruce Lee story uh, starring J.C. Scott Lee. Uh, awesome. I, I, I think it's an awesome movie. Uh, I have a buddy of mine who doesn't like the movie. Uh, uh because, uh, he, he, lo he knows a lot more about Bruce Lee and he, he didn't, he didn't feel like the, uh, 
the movie itself actually uh, told the Bruce Lee story as accurate as he knows it to be. But as it still doesn't mean mean it's not a fun movie to watch. I, I you know, not bad. Doctors run through sheer precision. The, the only th thing that they would get did get wrong with uh, was when one Jackman supposedly jump up and kick him in the back, and pe that's what paralyzed him. That's not what paralyzed him. Uh, all it was the good mornings that actually did it and his unwillingness to accept the feat. And, and this is the uh, drawing you see is in the book Tayo of Jikudo, which I have right here. Uh, this book here, which the backwards, this book here that you saw in the movie and uh, all the sketch, it's actually uh, right uh, here to some of the Draw, it is some of the drawings that Bruce did and put in his, in his, uh, in the movies. When he came up with his famous saying, walk on. It's kind of similar to our channel slogan, go beyond. Push beyond your limits. It's now the day of the final test. Let's get started with the two finger push-ups. On day one, I wasn't able to get five finger push-ups, but through repeated practice, I was able to get down to four finger push-ups. Today, let's start off with three fingers, then we'll move to two fingers. Five reps each, just to prove that I can do it with confidence. Now, time for the two finger push-up. He's straining a little bit. So he's strained there. Uh, 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 you should strain like that this because now you have two fingers that's holding you up. And it is a very straining workout if you've not done it before. Five reps on those. Bravo. I clap for you, guy. My, my dude. Oh. Oh, I wasn't expecting that, honestly. <laughs> I, I haven't tried it with you, but when it comes to performance under pressure, you know I always got it. Two finger push ups, baby! I'm actually a little impressed. Next, we'll test our one inch punch starting with level two because we already beat level one. Duh! This is a one inch punch, level two. Solid? Yeah, it's pretty solid. Yeah, okay. Um. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Mm. <laughs> After a couple tries, it's starting to bruise again. With the right hand, I couldn't put my full force into it because I don't want to damage it more. It would be a pretty disappointing video if I just gave up here. So I'm trying again with my left hand. Level two, baby! Now it's time for level three of the one inch punch. And yesterday we asked strangers to try the one inch punch, so watch that video after this. It's pretty solid. This is what broke me, but I'm gonna break it. Good thrust. Okay, come on. Nice, he did it finally. I don't know his stance and stuff is really not good. I'm basically why he's able to do it because of the fact uh, he was able to judge himself better and then his stance looks a lot better when he went from the late hand, which Bruce traditionally did. So although you could do it with both sprays, uh, you just have to learn how to, to, so when you do it with the right hand, you want to 
be able to turn your body all the way over with it like like you would like you would when you throw a cross or a hook or whatever. So that's where the power is coming from from the hip. Uh other than that not bad video. Uh don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what you like. But hit smash that thumbs up. I hope you like to see my kids on here with my video today. At some time that out of school, I can't stop making videos just because they're here. Uh, anyways, I am out. Thank you for watching. Peace.